the history of Appalachian State football. Early years, 1928 to 1954. Appalachian State football had its beginnings in 1928, with the first game being a 27-0 loss to East Tennessee State Teachers College. The team struggled to find success in its early years, posting a record of 53-109-19 from 1928 to 1954. They played in makeshift stadiums and often traveled long distances by bus to play their games. One notable event from this era was the 1940 game against Catawba College, which ended in a 13-13 tie. Appalachian State had a touchdown called back due to an official's error, which caused uproar among fans and led to the implementation of judgment calls by officials. Another notable figure from this time was Coach E.C. Head Walker, who served as head coach from 1937 to 1940. Under his leadership, the team had a winning record for the first time in program history, going 5-3-1 in 1938. He left to coach at Wake Forest, but returned in 1946 to coach the Mountaineers for another season. Overall, the early years of Appalachian State football were marked with struggle and inconsistency, but laid the foundation for future successes. Sure. During the early years of Appalachian State football, the team struggled to find success both on and off the field. The program was underfunded, and the team played in makeshift stadiums, which often caused problems with game attendance and revenue generation. In addition, the team often traveled long distances by bus to play their games, which caused a number of transportation issues as well. Despite these challenges, the Mountaineers did have some moments of success during this time period. One of their top players in the late 1940s was Ray E. Brown, who later went on to play for the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFL. Another notable event was the 1948 game against powerful Tennessee Tech, which the Mountaineers won 7-6, earning them their first victory over a major opponent. In terms of coaching, the early years of Appalachian State football saw a number of changes. The team had six different coaches during this time period, including notable figures like E.C. Head Walker, who served as head coach from 1937 to 1940, and Zora G. Clevenger, who coached in 1944. Despite these challenges, the early years of Appalachian State football laid the foundation for future successes. The program would go on to achieve great things in the coming decades, thanks in part to the resilience and perseverance displayed during these early years. Ray E. Brown is one of the most notable figures in the history of Appalachian State football, and he had an impressive career as a player for the Mountaineers during the late 1940s. Brown played as a quarterback, and he was known for his speed, agility, and leadership on the field.